dear first semester mechanical engineering stream students I welcome you all into my channel again hope you are all doing well and hope you have started your preparation for your upcoming examination today i am with the passing package a video for your subject applied physics bphym102 is it a subject code so let me discuss here uh, which is the passing module in which uh, you can easily grab 20 20 marks right so first of all we have here model fifth which is easier one and it will be easy for the students to grab 20 marks okay provided to the condition you are also practicing for the numericals from the previous year question papers i have also solved some numericals you can go through and refer those particular videos the link will be available in the description box right so first of all let me discuss here the theoretical questions explain the construction and working of x-ray diff diffraction meter and the next one we have uh, with a neat sketch explain the principal construction and working of transmission electron microscope tem so next one we have described the construction and working of x-ray photoelectron spectroscopy xps describe the construction and working of atomic force microscopy afm with a neat diagram, explain the principal construction and working of scanning electron microscopy SEM. Next one, we have determine the crystal size by Chira equation, and also you have to go through the numericals related to crystal size. Okay, so these numericals are very easier ones, uh, formula based. So I have also solved numericals on this particular crystal size. No need to worry about this. I will provide the link in the description box so you can avail this video. Next one, we have write a short note on nanomaterials and nanocomposites. And as I earlier said that you have to practice numericals from previous your question papers and model papers. That is enough to cover model fifth. Okay, as it is the passing module. Next passing module we have model first. What are dampened and forced oscillations? Of obtain the differential equation of motion of uh, body undergoing forced oscillation and mention the expression for amplitude and phase of oscillation next one we have super important one describe the construction and working of ready shock tube so this question is repeatedly asked in the video examination as far as uh, 18 scheme 17 scheme 21 scheme is concerned okay a lot of times video has asked this particular question next one we have to find stiffness factor derive the expression for equivalent force constant for two springs connected in series and parallel combination define mac number and mac angle this may be the five or six marks question next one we have mentioned four characteristics of shock wave and applications of shock waves uh, what is shm simple harmonic motion and write uh, the differential equation for shm because the theory of damped oscillations hence arrive at the case of critical damping and uh, practice numericals from question papers as usual and uh, model papers which i will upload on my instagram account you can refer those uh, previous year question papers for the problematic part next one we have the module second over here that is state and expand Hooke's law with the neat diagram explain the stress strain curve for elastic materials explain differential elastic moduli and mention the relationship between them what is the poisson's ratio derive the relationship between bulk modulus youngest modulus and poisson's ratio most important one what are the limiting values of poisson's ratio what is bending moment discuss different types of beams and mention their engineering applications and you have to solve some uh, numericals on Poisson's ratio calculate the Poisson's ratio okay so for the numerical so the, so the for the so for the numerical part you have to refer previous year question papers by which you can solve varieties of problems explain the nature of elasticity with the help of a stress strand diagram there are the expression for bending moment in terms of moment of inertia define youngest modulus bulk modulus and rigidity modulus derive the relationship between youngest modulus rigidity modulus and Poisson's ratio last one we have here defined the following uh, elastic moduli stress hardening and softening and factors affecting fatty so now coming to the module third we have here discuss a uh, seabag effect and Peltier effect with their coefficients describe the construction and working of thermoelectric generators most important one teg and tec thermoelectric uh, coolers there are the expression for thermo emf in terms of t1 and t2 and fourth one we have explained the construction and uh, working of thermophile and mentioned four advantages describe the construction and working of thermocouples mention their advantages and explain the application of thermoelectricity on refrigerator and go through the numericals from thermocouple part okay so it is possible to pass the uh, physics subject only by theory itself but uh, if you want to score more than 80 marks then definitely you have to go through the numerical part which is easier one uh, my suggestion to you guys is just to go through numerical part also okay so don't leave the numericals simply over there okay so these are the formula based numericals which you can easily do and i'm expecting from you students next one we have a model fourth what is Joule's Thomson effect derived delta t is equal to p1 minus p2 divided by cp multiplied by 2a by rt minus b and hence discuss three cases 
Describe the construction and working of platinum resistance thermometer. Describe the construction and working of porous plug experiment. What conclusions have been drawn from it? And explain the construction and working of Lindy's air liquefier. Explain the liquefaction of helium. Write down its properties. And sixth one, we have explained briefly the application of cryogenics in aerospace and tribology. Write a short note on liquefaction of oxygen by cascade process and, and as usual numericals from PYQs and model question paper. So this is all about the super important questions of your subject applied physics BPHYM102. So make sure these questions should be at your utmost priority if you want to score in the physics subject. So this is all about today's video. Sure, you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates. Thank you. Thank you.